coming up this week on the center of it all. One business in Center County got some pretty impressive recognition. We'll tell you who it is and what they got recognized for. And what better way to beat the summer heat than with a cold ice cream? We show you one local man making a difference in his community. Mel shares another delicious dessert. We have a new pet this week who is looking to start her summer with a new family and our app can help you build just about anything. Don't go anywhere, it's all coming up next right here on the center of it all. Welcome to another summer filled center of it all. Now, when the summer sun starts to come out, that means the ice cream truck music starts to play. We talked to one local man who's been playing his music for many, many years. It started out as a way to fund a race car hobby, but soon David Duke turned in his race car for an old Lance Cracker truck. And after weeks of remodeling both the inside and outside, it became the ice cream truck most people in Clearfield are familiar with today. He offers a variety of summer treats like Hershey's hand-dipped ice cream, Minions, chocolate tacos, and a flavor of the week. But out of everything, his favorite flavor? I like cotton candy. business for over 35 years, going out five nights a week, taking his truck to Clearfield neighborhoods, senior apartment complexes, community festivals, and the Clearfield Hospice Chili Bowl, where he donates the proceeds back to hospice. And after doing this for so long, people know where he's supposed to be, when, and on what days. Chase me down the street for a couple blocks. He says it's fun to be part of their summer memories and all the kids enjoy when he comes around. You know, kids like it. They're always smiles and everything. He's been doing it for so long that for some, it's not just summer until they see the truck and hear the jingle. You know, if you ask the people with whom he's served over the years, that they, you know, it's part of their, it's part of the community, it's part of their summer, and it's like they look forward to seeing him. Um, you know, it's not summer without seeing him. He really does this all for the kids and for the community. It adds a little bit of uniqueness to the Clearfield area, and he likes to give back to the community he grew up in. And even when the sun goes down and the chilly weather starts to creep back in at the end of the summer, that isn't the end for this ice cream truck. We'll be in a grocery store in the middle of winter and people will get out, ice cream man, ice cream man, and the kids will say, ice cream man. Along with 35 years has come many laughs and memories. He says kids have tried to pay him with things like marbles, rocks, and even kittens. His favorite memory, when a young boy tried to pay him with Monopoly money and said he could give change back in real money. That boy is grown now with kids of his own, but to this day, they still share that memory together. And that's one of the things he's been able to see. His customers grow into adults and then bring their children for ice cream. I've been doing it so long that the kids I started with, they have kids now. And that makes him more than just the man with the ice cream truck. He's just not, he's just beyond their ice cream man. I think a lot of them will say he's more like a friend. And he sees everyone in the community as his friend as well. And he has a message for them. He said, I am grateful for the loyalty and the friendship of everyone who has supported the ice cream truck over the years. They are truly the reason I am still doing it after 35 years. It was so much fun to ride along with him and see how excited the kids got when they heard his music. When we come back, we check out a business that makes a difference in their community every eight weeks. 
Welcome back. Another way to give back to your community is by giving blood. We went to one blood drive that has a pretty amazing track record. Every two months for the last 16 years, ResTech has a blood drive, but this time they wanted it to be different. On average, they tend to get around 30 or so people willing to donate. They wanted to push those odds. So this is a big deal, right? Um, my birthday's in May. I sent out the request to good people that work here um, last year when I turned 55, and they responded and we had a great turnout. We had 51 positive donors um, with some deferrals in them. So this year we won an award, a business partnership award from the American Red Cross, and that was kind of a big deal. And uh, so I said to our rep, let's do 56, and she said, you're crazy, and I said, let's do 60. And I, I sent out the request, and we have 64 people signed up today. shown from the people in this company, the amount of blood drawn from these drives makes ResTech a top business blood drive sponsor in Center County. Because of this amazing achievement and constant dedication over the years, the Red Cross had no problem awarding ResTech with the Business Partnership Award this year. So ResTech was presented with the Business Partnership Award because um, we're the number one business uh, that does blood drives here in Center County. That's a pretty big deal. How does that make you guys feel? Pretty fantastic. Behind every great achievement, there are truly remarkable people who all band together to make these things possible. And these employees are no different as they constantly come together months after months to donate blood. In, inside those walls, we have some pretty amazing people that do amazing things. Because, but because of the, the success of this drive, we're going to bump the number up just four and more. And we're going to do 35 for every, every blood drive moving forward. One pint of blood can save up to three lives, so for some, coming out and donating blood is a way for them to support the community and give back. blood drive will be in eight weeks. When we come back, Mel shows us how to make a pretty delicious cake. Welcome back. All I have to say is coffee cake. I'll let Mel take it from here. Come on over for some coffee and cake. Coffee cake. Can you think of one occasion where a coffee cake doesn't fit in perfectly? I sure can't. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a classic coffee cake. One with a buttery rich batter and a brown sugary streusel layer in between. Streusel is the German word meaning scattered or sprinkled. And almost every coffee cake gets a streusel topping scattered or sprinkled on top of it. In the case of today's mixture, I'm starting with three quarters of a cup of dark brown sugar. And I've got three quarters of a cup of pecans, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and a half teaspoon of cloves. And I'm going to stir the pecans together with my spices to get them evenly coated. Then I'm going to stir the coated pecans into the brown sugar. And I did it this way so that when I stir the coated nuts into the brown sugar, all of those spices get evenly incorporated into the sugary streusel topping. Classic coffee cake batter is rich with butter and eggs and usually contains baking powder and or brown sugar too. Past that, they almost all have a tangy mixture stirred into them like buttermilk, cream cheese, and in the case of today's recipe, sour cream. I've got a cup and a half. 
and I've got three cups of flour with a teaspoon and a half each of baking powder and baking soda. And I'm just going to give them a, you know, a little bit of a stir. It doesn't have to be thorough, they just have to be stirred in a little. In my bowl, I've got a stick and a half of butter, three eggs. I'm going to add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and a cup and a half of granulated sugar. And with my handheld electric mixer, you don't need a big stand mixer to make a coffee cake. I'm just going to cream together these ingredients for about a full minute. My butter, sugar, and eggs are creamed together, and now it's time to add my flour mixture and my sour cream. And I'm gonna do that alternately in three increments each of about a third each. So I'm gonna start with about a third of the flour. I'm gonna mix this on low speed, and as we work, you'll see how I add everything a third, a third, a third, and a third. I'm putting in the last of the sour cream and I'm going to give this a real thorough last mix. Our batter's done, and now it's time to layer our ingredients in the pan. I'm using a vintage 10-inch tube pan, an angel food type pan. Feel free to use a 12-cup bunt pan if you like the shape of a bunt pan better. What I'm going to start is layering about two cups of batter into the bottom of the pan. first layer is probably the most important to get even because you want to spread the batter out to cover the surface, the whole surface of the bottom of the baking pan. That's great. I hope the camera can get a good see in there. Uh, now I'm going to take about a half a cup of my streusel topping and just by shaking and turning the pan, I'm going to sprinkle a half a cup of my streusel in there. And again, we're going to go back for two more, approximately two more cups. This isn't rocket science, this is cake baking, easy cake baking. And I'm going to put about two more cups of this buttery rich cake batter in it. I'm just going to try to spread this out into the sides, into the center. This is one of the prettiest coffee cakes you're ever going to make, if I do say so myself. Looking real good. Now I'm going to sprinkle all of the rest of my streusel. 
the end of the pan. And last but not least, I'm going to give this a couple of really good shakes to even everything out. This is going into a 350 degree oven for 50 to 55 minutes. When it comes out, it's going to cool for one to two hours before I drizzle it with the nifty little vanilla glaze. cakes in the oven and while I wait I'm going to show you how to make my glaze which is really easy. I've got a cup and a half of powdered sugar and I've stirred four tablespoons of milk with a tablespoon of vanilla extract together and I'm going to add not quite all of this yet until we see how drizzly it actually gets. I usually withhold about a tablespoon. Stir this together. Well, it's not drizzly yet, so we're going to add all of this today. Now we're talking. Now you still, you could still see a couple of little, it's real drizzly, and you can still see a couple of little lumps in this. And the reason I make it the second I put the cake in the oven is because I'm just going to set this aside and in the course of the next 20 or 30 minutes all of those little lumps are going to completely disappear. Thanks to some post-war ad campaigns by the American Coffee Bureau, by the 1950s America was a country of coffee drinkers. In the workplace, the 15-minute coffee break was born and if you were a housewife, once you got your husband out the door and your kids off to school, you likely participated in a coffee clatch, the German word for coffee chat. And we all know nothing goes better with a cup of coffee over gossip than a slice of coffee cake. For these and all of my recipes, just go to my website. That cake is perfect to have at all your summer gatherings this year. When we come back, we meet a sweet and loving beagle looking for her new family and show you an app that teaches you how to do just about everything. Welcome back. Our pet of the show comes from Nittany Beagle Rescue and she's sweet, cuddly, and looking for her new family. Thanks, Alicia. I'm here with Bo. We're from the Nittany Beagle Rescue. She's a five or six year old female. She's very sweet but she was raised in a pen outside, so she does not have very good house manners and she might jump up on stuff. She's very food responsive though. While I've been walking her, she enjoys treats a lot, so I think she'd be very trainable. And she seems to really like attention and she comes to you when you, when you get her attention. So I think she would be, you could train her pretty easily. We've had her at a show now at uh, Petco and she did fine, she's good with people, she was good with kids, but she wasn't raised in a household with young children and she can be startled easily, so we think it might be better to keep her uh, in a household with children over, I think 10 is what we say on the website. And she's also, she's tolerable of dogs and other animals, but again, she wasn't raised with them, so we'd prefer to put her in a house where she might be the only animal and that way she can get all the attention too. She's okay in the car. Um, she just sort of wandered around looking out the window. She's about 20 pounds, so she's a pretty small, she's not, well, not very small, but she's on the smaller side for a beagle. But she's very sweet and cuddly, and she's decent on a leash. Doesn't sniff as bad as some beagles do. And she does have a lot of energy though, so she likes to run if you have the space, she'd be great in a, a fenced in yard. And if you want a pet but aren't sure how to take care of it, our app this week could help you with that and much, much more. It's called WikiHow and it will show you how to do just about anything. The app opens with a wide variety of options and subjects to choose from. They have over 150,000 how-to guides available for you. 
You simply search a topic you're interested in, and as you do that, other how-to guides you may want are suggested, or you can just search through the random category to see what is listed. It has directions on how to do all kinds of things like decorating, construction, even how to make friends. offers step-by-step easy to follow instructions that you can either read or watch a video on how to do the task you want and if you find something you want to do but don't have the time right away you can bookmark those things for later even while you are offline there's also a survival kit on the app this is a collection of emergency situation guides that they recommend every person should have stored on their device like emergency how-to guides for CPR provide first aid and the Heimlich maneuver all the survival kit guides are stored for offline use so you don't need to be connected to Wi-Fi to view them. They are available anytime. The app is rated four and a half stars and has reviewers saying things like this app changed my life and it gives good advice and advice step by step. This app is available for both Apple and Android. That wraps up this week's Center of It All. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.